Hello, I'm Ravinder. I'm the Associate Project Manager for TMT. Please join me as we meet the TMT team. Welcome, Feng Chuan. Can you tell us about your own work on TMT? Well, thank you, Ravinder. Um, I'm the Deputy Project Manager on TMT, so my responsibility focuses on the engineering design and the development of the telescope and all the science instruments. What are the management challenges that you are facing? Well, TMT development involves scientists and engineers from five countries, and uh, uh, they all come from somewhat different uh, cultural backgrounds, mm -hmm. engineering backgrounds, so the communication and uh, coordination uh, are a major challenge for TMT. Can you tell us more about your own career path? What's led you to now this position that you hold on TMT? What have you done in the past? When I was young, I loved physics. So oh. my career was on the path of being a research scientist doing physics research. Uh, but when I started my career at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, I very quickly find out that there's so much more interesting stuff in the space-based uh, exploration and research. So I, my career evolved from uh, doing research in the lab to leading scientists and engineers uh, to build instrumentations, conducting uh, experiments on the space shuttle and uh, uh, space station, and yeah. doing satellite development. With respect to the project management work you've done at JPO, how has that supported the work that you've done as Deputy Project Manager on TMT as a ground-based observatory rather than a space observatory? Um, the work I did at JPO was a really good training um, ground for me. Uh -huh. uh, like the WISE mission that I managed, uh, it has an infrared uh, telescope, even though it's much smaller. Uh, I would say the management challenge there is very different from TMT. Huh. It was a very much fast-paced, um, cost-capped mission, uh, but you get to work with uh, mostly scientists and engineers within the U.S. You don't have the international collaboration challenge. Are there other projects where you have in the past had that international challenge? Yes, very much so. For the International Space Station program uh -huh. I work on, uh, we had international partners from, for example, Japan, Europe, Russia even. Ah. So that, that was the first program I really started to uh, appreciate the complexity and the challenge of international collaboration and uh, crossing different cultures, different development uh, yeah. environments. And so you've been able to bring that with you to TMT? Yeah, very yeah. much so. What advice would you offer to students, high school students or university students who are interested in careers in science, technology, engineering, mathematics? I would say the most important thing is always asking yourself uh, what you truly enjoy doing, what your passion is. Huh. Once you find the answer to that, follow that, and then uh, working hard becomes simply playing hard. It's a very powerful message I think you're sharing with those uh, students. Thank you. Thank you for your time today. Thanks for watching. You can see it takes many different people to build what will be one of the biggest optical telescopes in the world. Please join me in the next of our interviews with the team.